In this video, I'm going to be showing you some ways to apply inequalities. Now, these are new types of story problems that we haven't really um, touched on. In big caps, kind of it gives you what you need to do. So the club has a goal to sell at least 25 plants for a fundraiser. Club members sell 8 plants on Wednesday, 9 plants on Thursday. Write and solve an inequality that gives a possible number of plants this club can sell on Friday, that's just say 2, to meet their goal. Now, this is key here, write and solve an inequality. That means I'm not going to mess with a bunch of boxes. Okay, or anything like that. That's not going to help me. It's going to kind of make the problem more confusing than what it needs to be. So I'm not going to represent this with like a graph and a line, you know, a line graph over here and then the X and Y is this. It's going to convolute the process. So when we're to solve an inequality, you got to decide what the inequality is. Is it greater than or is it less than? Okay. Well, the fact that they have a goal means we're going to use the greater than symbol, okay? Greater than, but when you set a goal, you can reach the goal itself, so I put equal to. Now I'm going to put what my goal is, the number that represents the goal. It's usually the highest amount in the problem, and I see it's 25. They want to sell at least 25 plants. Now after you place 25, you want to do a couple things. Cross it out, and just put the word plants over here. Now over here, find some other plants amounts that we have. We have eight plants. Now the eight plants are sold on Wednesday. There's only one Wednesday in the week, so I do not need to put a variable. Eight is a constant. Okay. Then I'm going to add, because another amount of plants I have is nine. Okay. Nine does not need a variable, Okay, because there's only one Thursday in the week. And I'm going to cross those out. Now, there's another day, okay? There's another day. So we add a third amount, which we don't know. You can use any variable you want. You can use X if you, you're comfortable with that, or I'm going to use F for Friday, okay? Because that's what they're asking. If you want to use X instead, that's all good. It does the same thing. Now, simplify this side. You can add the 8 and the 9, okay? We could do that. And that's 17. You can write that as F plus 17 then. Okay. Now your F has a multiplier of 1. The sign's not going to switch because that's a positive multiplier. Okay. You'll never be switching the sign on these. So then I minus 17 takes me to 8. And you can divide by 1 if you want or you can just get rid of it. Okay. So again, so we could sell 8 or anything more than 8 would be the reasonable goal. Okay, so again, you want to pick your, when your goal setting, we're using greater than, okay, or equal to the goal. And then find the labels that are going to help me get to that goal. Okay, next one. I earn $12 per hour at my job. My goal is to earn $400 for the week. Write and solve an inequality that gives how many full hours I need to work to meet my goal. Okay, again, there's that write an inequality, write and solve an inequality. Okay, so my I'm goal setting here, so I can go over then my goal or equal to my goal, and the number that represents the goal is 400. Okay, get rid of the $400. Put the label on, but then in here. Now look for a dollar's amount we have in the problem that helps me get to my goal. It would be $12. But the $12 takes place every hour I work, and um, so it's not a constant. Okay, It needs to be multiplied by how many hours there are, which I don't know. So I put H or X or something. Okay. All right, well, then I solve it, okay? H has a positive multiplier, so again, just go, you go straight to division on this one. So divide by 12 gives me my H isolated. And 400 divided by 12 is um, 33.3. Now, it says how many full hours I need to work. 
If you have a greater than sign, then you need to always round the whole number up. It's going to go to 34. It wouldn't be 33 because that wouldn't be enough. I wouldn't meet my goal. Okay, so that's going to be 34. Okay. Okay, next one. I go to a store of $50. I'm buying Snickers and, we'll say, and Three Musketeers. Snickers cost $3.99 per bag and Three Musketeers cost $4.99 per bag. I know I'm going to buy eight bags of Snickers. Write and solve an inequality that gives how many full bags of, get that three out of there and write the word three. Okay, otherwise I'm confused. I think three is part of it. It's not. It's just the name of a candy bar. Three Musketeers I can afford to buy. Now, this isn't goal setting. This is how much I have. So have, we will not be using the greater than. We will be using the less than. Now, it can be equal. So what represents how much I have? 50. So again, goal setting is greater than. It says goal, okay? And um, what I have would be less than. So we're going to ditch the 50 then. We don't need that anymore. Okay, so find me a money amount. Snickers, three ninety nine. But that wouldn't be a constant because it's paid every bag. Okay, so um, I need to multiply this by something. How many bags um of Snickers am I buying? It seems to me like we know that. We know we're buying eight. So I don't put a variable. I put eight. Okay. Now cross those two things out. Plus, and you're also buying three musketeers for $4.99. We're buying more than one of them, so how many times am I going to buy the $4.99? I really don't know that because that's kind of what I don't know here. So you can put, I don't care what letter you use, it doesn't matter. Okay? I'll use X, good old X. Now I want to simplify this side. I can multiply these two. Okay? We need to find that product. So $31.92, okay? So simplify 31.92 plus 4.99x less or equal to 50. You can drop the times dot. You just crunch it together. Okay, and now I get the x by itself. We have a pup multiplier here. we got to get that 31.92 to 0, okay? So 50 minus 31.92 is going to be 18.08, and then I'm going to divide. And that sign will be staying the same. We don't have to worry about flipping it, none of that. Okay, I'm not going to write that for an answer, okay? Um, I have less than this time, so that means I have to round down. Okay, that's just going to be a three, so I can afford, I can buy three bags as the max, and then anything less than three, I can afford two. Okay, in a community garden, you want to fence in a vegetable garden, okay? The width of the garden is 12 feet. You have a... Uh, 42 feet of fence. Write and solve an inequality that finds a possible length of the garden. Okay. Again, it's something you have. Okay. It's less than. So 42, 42 feet. Now you don't want to just go cross that out. Now you don't want to just go write the 12. Okay. Draw the rectangular garden. Okay. Just draw it. Okay. And you got length, length, width, width. Because you wrap it, you're going to put the fence all the way around the garden. It's talking about a shape. You're going to put that all the way around the garden. Now, how many lengths do you have to put the fence around? you got two. So I'm going to put 2L because there's two of them. How many widths do you have? You're also going to put it on the widths plus 2W. Now, it seems to me that I have 12 of the width I know. 
Okay, so I need to get rid of the width variable and put times 12. Okay, and then I simplify by doing that operation. 2 times 12 is 24. So 2L plus 24 less than or equal to 42. Now we can solve it. Okay, so I'm minus 24. That's 18. Then divide both sides by 2. L is less than or equal to 9. Okay, 9 feet. Labels I'm not con that concerned about here. There's your inequality. So the length can be 9 or anything less than that. Okay, you can't go over 9 because you only have a certain amount. Okay, so again, when they're talking, start when they throw, start throwing shapes at you, okay, and the length and the width, you're going to draw the rectangle. And that's where you go. Okay, I'm going to run through another round here. The environmental club is selling indoor herb gardens for Earth Day. Each member is encouraged to sell at least 10 gardens. You sell three gardens on Monday, four gardens on Tuesday. Write and solve an inequality. Find the possible numbers of gardens you can sell to reach your goal. Goal setting, okay? Writing an inequality based off goals, okay? So that would be greater than. Now what's your goal? It's probably the highest number in the problem, which is 10. 10 gardens. Remember, you're going to want to put the label there. Now, what gardens do we have on the other side to reach our goal? We've got three gardens on Monday. Remember, there's only one three. I don't need to multiply it by anything because there's only one Monday. Plus four on Tuesday. But there's going to be another day, okay? Sorry, there's going to be another day. So because 3 plus 4 is not 10, so I'm going to have to add another x to that. Okay, now I do. I can simplify. I can take 3 plus 4. That's 7. So x plus 7. You can put 7 plus x if you want. Okay, and then I'm minus 7. That's 3. So you can sell 3 gardens or anything greater than or equal to 3 to reach your goal. That's how many more you have to go. Next problem. Again, when they have days of the week and how many I did, I don't have to multiply by anything. Okay, it's just my goal is to earn five hundred dollars at my job for the week. I make fifteen dollars per hour. Right, and solve an inequality. Find how many full hours I need to work to meet my goal. Okay. Okay, the goal. Goal is greater than or equal to. We want five hundred dollars. How much you want to earn? So how am I going to get to my goal? Well, that's the dollar amount. But I'm going to earn that more than one time. I'm going to earn that times the number of hours, which I don't have. So I'm going to put an H on that. Okay. Okay. And then you just pretty much divide. Remember, it wants the hours in full. Okay. So 500 divided by 15. Even though you can work a decimal part of an hour, they're asking for full. So 33. That's what I got on the other problem. I did that. Okay, okay next one. I work two jobs. I make $11.25 per hour at High V. I make $10 per hour at Baumgars. My goal for the week is to earn $450. I know I'm slated to work 25 hours at Baumgars. Write and solve an inequality that gives how many full hours I would need to work at High V to meet my goal. Okay, so again, goal setting greater than or equal to. Okay, so what number represents my goal? 450. get that out of there so I don't have to look at it anymore okay so um I could make eleven dollars and twenty five cents and I'm gonna make that more than once so we're gonna multiply it hopefully if I know how many hours am I working at Hy-Vee I don't know that okay so I need to put an X and H whatever I don't the letter doesn't matter okay plus because we got to work we're also working at a second job Get rid of that. Ten dollars per hour at Baumgars. Okay. 
now um, that's per hour at Bob Gars. Well, I'm going to be making 10 a multiple number of times, depending on how many hours I worked at Bob Gars. So I think I know that, 25. So 10 times 25. Okay, you can simplify these two, okay? You need to find that product. 10 times 25 is 250. So you got 11.25H plus 250. 450. Okay, now minus the 250. That's 200. Remember, you don't have to worry about flipping the sign because you never have a negative multiplier of your variable. Okay. Okay, that's dividing time. Okay, so I take 200 divided by 11.25. Okay, that's greater than, so instead of writing 17 point whatever, we're going to take that up to an 18. So I can work 18 or more hours at high V to meet, meet my goal. If you Again, if you use X as your variable, that's fine. You're not going to use X on this next one, though, because it's a different, it's a shape. You want to make a rectangular banner with a length of 18 feet. You have uh, 40 feet feet of trim for the banner, right? And solving in a coil that gives up so it's what you have. Sorry, I kind of cut myself off. Right and solving in a coil that gives the possible widths of the banner. Okay, so I have, so that's less than, I got 48, 48 feet. Now again, just writing a 12, 18 down is not going to help you very much. You need to draw the rectangle. Remember, you're wrapping trim around the outside. Okay, You have two lengths and two widths. So I write the expression 2w, because there's two widths to wrap it around, plus 2l. Okay, now one of these variables has to go. You can't have two different variables, and that's, it says... We want to make a rectangular bear with a length of 18 feet. So let's get the length variable out of here and just put times 18. We don't need the L. Okay. 2 times 18 is 36. So 2W plus 36, 48. Okay, and I'll get the W by itself. So minus 36. That's 12. I'm going to divide by 2, and that's 6. So W. Okay, so you have to make your width, okay, greater, less than or equal to 6 feet. Okay, that's all I have to say on that. That's your Thursday assignment.